hello good morning everybody now we will discuss one important theorem in the base and dimension let w1 and w2 be two vector spaces subspaces of a finite dimensional vector space then dimension w1 plus w2 equal to dimension w1 plus dimension w2 minus dimension w1 direction w2 it is the theorem now now what is the proof now it is one of the best and important theorem now now v of f is finite dimension finite dimension vector space finite dimension vector space now w1 w2 are subspaces subspaces of v of f now now automatically w1 intersection w2 w1 plus w2 are also are also subspaces of v of f now subspaces of v of f now after that now v of f we know that v of f is a finite dimension vector space and here we have four subspaces w1 w2 and intersection and linear combination out of these four subspaces smallest subspace is w1 intersection w2 therefore i am taking let s is base of w1 intersection w2 now and here is equal to <coughs> gamma 1 gamma 2 and gamma k it is a base of w1 intersection w2 now is equal to now. now this set contains k elements therefore dimension w1 intersection w2 equal to k now now after that i am taking now uh, I am using now extension theorem. Now, extension theorem. No? Now, I am extending S as base set, base set of W1. No? That is B1 equal to alpha 1, alpha 2, dash dash, alpha m gamma 1 gamma 2 dash gamma k no. now therefore the bay dimension of this w1 is nothing but now m plus k now because of the base contains m alphas and k gammas therefore the total number of elements in b1 is nothing but now m plus k therefore dimension of w1 is becomes now m plus k now in the same manner again I am taking extension of base S as a base set as a base set of W2 now. Now therefore the new base set of W2 is B1 equal to B1 B2 dash BL gamma 1 gamma 2 dash gamma K now. Now the base set the set contains L betas and K gammas now. Therefore, total number of elements are L plus K. Therefore, dimension of W2 is nothing but now L plus K now. Now, here we have three dimensions. Number of elements. We know that number of elements of intersection and W1 and W2 also now. The theorem is dimension of w1 plus w2 equal to dimension of w1 plus dimension of w2 minus dimension of w1 intersection w2 now now therefore it is now m plus k l plus k minus k now now therefore it is becomes m plus l plus k now the dimension is now 
L M plus N plus K now. The set contains should be contains the base set, set contains M plus L plus K elements now. I am assuming let uh, B equal to a new set which contains M alphas next uh, L betas and uh, K gammas now. K gammas now. It is uh, one of the set now. To prove that <coughs> Prove, prove that B is base set base set of W1 plus W2. If any set is said to be base set, it should be satisfies two property you now. One is linear independent vectors. The second one is L of B should be equal to w1 plus w2 now first i am taking first parameter bit now first proof now that is now s should contains is set of linear independent vectors now now for this proof now i am taking a linear combination a1 alpha 1 a2 alpha 2 dash a m alpha m b1 beta 1 b2 beta 2 and next b l beta l plus c1 gamma 1 c2 gamma 2 dash c k gamma k equal to 0 bar i am comparing with 0 bar now now after that i am assuming as a first equation now after that next now i am taking uh, alpha entire alpha is equal to we can prove this theorem by in two ways alpha is equal to and beta is equal to now in this case i am taking alpha is equal to alpha 1 a1 alpha 1 a2 alpha 2 dash di dash am alpha m is equal to minus b1 beta 1 b2 beta 2 minus dash bl bl beta l and c1 gamma 1 c2 gamma 2 dash ck gamma k now. now if you observe these elements here these elements no all these elements are belongs to our base elements of w to now now therefore we can write it is a linear combination of b2 elements now it is a linear combination of b2 elements now therefore the a1 alpha 1 a2 alpha 2 dash am alpha m is belongs to w2 the b2 is a base set for w2 now now after that again a1 alpha 1 a2 alpha 2 di di dash am alpha m now now in the second step i am taking it is a linear combination of b1 elements that means i am proving this entire vector value that is a1 alpha 1 a2 alpha 2 di dash am alpha m is belongs to w1 and also belongs to w2 that means it is belongs to both sets now therefore i am taking it is equal to a1 alpha 1 a2 alpha 2 di dash am alpha m and next now 0 into gamma 1 0 into gamma 2 di dash 0 into gamma k now now therefore it is nothing but the linear combination of b1 elements now it is nothing but now linear combination of b1 elements now therefore a1 alpha 1 a2 alpha 2 di dash am alpha m is now belongs to w1 now now the value 
द वेक्टर इज बिलोंग्स टू डब्ल्यू वन इज बिलोंग्स टू डब्ल्यू टू नाउ देर फोर दिस कंप्लीट वेक्टर ए वन आलफा वन ए टू आलफा टू डैश ए एम आलफा एम इज अ कामन एलिमेंट देर फोर इट इज बिलोंग्स टू इंटरसेक्शन नाउ नाउ देर फोर वी कैन राइट दिस वेक्टर दिस वेक्टर कंप्लीट दिस वेक्टर एज ए लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ द इन बेस सेट वट इज अ बेस सेट ऑफ इन डब्ल्यू वन इंटरसेक्शन डब्ल्यू टू इज नथिंग बट एस लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एस एलिमेंट्स नाउ नाउ वट आर द एस एलिमेंट्स हॉल गामास नाउ देर फोर डी वन गामा वन डी टू गामा टू डैश डी के गामा के नाउ Now I am taking all these values one side now. A one alpha one, A two alpha two dash dash, A m alpha m minus D one gamma one, D two gamma two minus dash dash, D k gamma k equal to zero bar now. Now here we know that we know that. we know that the values these are linear independent vectors why these are linear independent vector all these vectors are b1 base elements now b1 base elements now therefore b1 is nothing but now linear uh, it is base set that means every element of b1 is a linear independent that means all scalars are nothing but zeros therefore all a values all d values are equal to zero therefore we achieve first condition now all a values are equal to zero i am taking from the first equation the first equation a a into alpha b into beta and c into gamma star now therefore again i am taking the equation same equation all a values okay next after that all b values all b values and after that now all c gamma values c1 gamma 1 C two gamma two and the next now C k gamma k equal to zero bar. Here all a values are zeros now. Therefore write zero into alpha one, zero into alpha two, and the next now zero into alpha m plus b one beta one b two beta two next b l beta l Plus next C one gamma one, C two gamma two, and next C k gamma k equal to zero bar. Now all value is zero into any vector is zero. Therefore it is becomes now B one beta one, B two beta two, B three, and next B l beta l C one. Gamma one, C two, gamma two, dash, C k gamma k equal to zero bar. Now here these are, these are 